125, 150, 175, and $200. Great, you just bought yourself a one hour TV show on an evening time slot. Great, is this gonna be okay with that quack of a doctor you work with? After all, he is used to being on television for the last couple of years. Ah, psh, don't even worry about him. He's the most clueless guy in town. Just ignore him, he'll go away. I'll pop in later and see how you're doing. Uh, have fun and break a leg. Ooh, we get to break a leg. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to Mutually in Omaha's Creature Feature, everyone's favorite <laughs> nature show. I'm your host, Marlon Porkins. And I'm your co-host, Jungle Betty. <laughs> Betty and I have traveled the world, maiming and almost killing rare exotic animals to bring them here to your show tonight. Never try to kill wild animals at home, boys and girls. We are professionals because we have degrees in dentistry. That's right. Sit back and enjoy the next hour as we bring you wild exotic animals from Asia, Africa, and Cleveland. Rare exotic animals, huh? Oh, sure. Kids love watching nature on television. It doesn't smell nearly as bad as it does in real life. Uh, uh, who are you people and what in the hell are you doing in my lab? Remember what that nurse said? Just ignore him. He'll go away. That's going to be kind of hard to do, considering he smells worse than nature. <laughs> hey, why, why are all these flies in here? Tonight, boys and girls... We're going to start off our show with showing you the rare Albanian ring-nosed river sloth. And we didn't even have to maim it, sadly. It was already in the cage when we moved into this studio. Oh, good grief. I don't believe these two kids. You know what? I think they're a bunch of frauds or charlatans, as they say. Uh, uh, uh. Listen, you two clowns. This isn't any Albanian ring nose sloth. This is an Igor, okay? An Igor. He's a pal of mine. Been around here for years. No, it no, isn't. No, it isn't. Uh, uh, yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Uh, yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. And I can prove it. All right. The Albanian ring-nosed water sloth is known for slowly strangling uh -huh. animals that come into its territory. Oh, and I'm sure it only eats $20 bills. No, actually we're wrong. It's $50 bills. You know, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Animals, they don't eat money. This is, this is crazy. Isn't that right, Igor? <sighs> Crikey! Look at the grip on that one! It just goes to show you shouldn't get too close to a dangerous animal. Unless you have your mace, uh, which, oops, I seem to have left the mace in the Nature Explorer Humvee. Okay, folks, we're going to take a short break here and hear from some of our sponsors. But we'll be right back with more fun from Future Feature. Is he dead yet? Almost. Is and welcome back to <laughs> Mutually in Omaha's Creature Feature. What's the next animal we have for us, Betty? Oh, it's the most dangerous fish known to mankind. The Japanese Oriental Piranha. 
found only in Montana, deep in the rainforest. This fish can actually strip a human being down to its underwear in just seconds. But as human beings are full of processed food, which is chemicals and preservatives, it usually kills the fish. You know, that is one of the stupidest things I think I've heard on the show. And we've had a lot of stupid on here, kids. You know what? Where did you two come from? Did you get like uh, thrown out of your local cable access station? <laughs> you know what? These two are a couple of frauds, kids. This is just a plain stupid goldfish that the, one of these bozos probably won at the carnival. You know, throwing the darts at the balloons or, you know what? That's probably too tough for them. Throwing the little rings on the Coke bottles. You know what? I, I, I wouldn't believe a, a single thing that's foaming out of their mouths. Oh yeah, Mr. Dr. Smarty Pants Know-It-All? If you're so sure it's just a plain old goldfish, why don't you stick your hand in the tank? All right, well, you know what, kids? I think we're gonna defrock these people here. And, uh, let me show you, this is just a plain, plain, plain old stupid lousy goldfish, okay? So let's watch there, look at this, look at this. Ah! fish tank with a Japanese ornamental Ow. piranha? Are you stupid? Ugh. Ow. So, uh, so how's the show going? Ow. Well, you know, that Igor guy, he wanted a hundred bucks to do the job. I don't have that kind of cash. The piranha almost got him, though. Yeah, keep up the good work. All right. I'll check on you guys later. Bye. Uh, you know what, boys and girls? I think I better go check and see if Nurse Carrie took out another life insurance policy on me again. Bad fish! Okay, kids, the next animal is one that you could possibly see in your own backyard. That's right, Marlin. Around this time of year, people start finding different denominations of cash right in their yards. That means it's the molting season for the Savidia Cassius. Ah. Which is Latin for... It's that s stupid nuisance joke telling dollar deer. Uh, hey. Uh, hey, 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 where's my wallet? Hiya, Doc. Really love the new show format. Creature feature is everybody's favorite nature <laughs> show. <laughs> hey, hey, that that was just a mistake in the, the TV cable guide listings. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, hey, Doc. Nothing doing. I know how you operate. You see, what he does is Dollar here tells me a, a real simple joke to, you know, build up my confidence, kids. And, and then after I get it right, then he tells me a really hard one and I can't answer it. And then he drops a whole bunch of ping pong balls and I get clobbered by, by millions of them right here on the top of my head. <laughs> oh, Doc, you're such a kidder. You really exaggerate. It's not a million ping pong balls. This show can only afford a mere thousand. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not playing your stupid joke game today. Uh, well, 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 how about Marlon and Betty? Would you guys like to hear a funny joke? Sure we sure. would. Great! Well, here it goes. What do you call an animal that talks a lot? Oh, I know. A stupid deer. Hey, Greedy, you said you weren't playing the game, so why don't you take your balls and go home? <laughs> oh, oh, I know. A yak! You got it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know, that was a real easy one, and I was being nice to let you have that one. But, uh, I, 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 here's a really tough one for Marlin. Okay. What do you call a baby bear with no teeth? Oh, that's a tough one. I know. <laughs> I think you've got me there. Oh, 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 oh. Watch this, kids. This is going to be really funny. You see, he doesn't know the answer, so he's going to get clobbered in a noggin by a million ping pong balls. Okay, Dollar Deer, what do you call a baby bear with no teeth? A gummy bear! Oh. <laughs> that was a great joke, Dollar, but now we have to take a break. Oh, well, 
Well, then I better get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Igor, roll the movie. Kids, and welcome back to our show. <laughs> Mutually in Omaha, Creature Feature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, what, what the heck is going on in here? Frankie, have we got a handful here today. This, boys and girls, is the rare Nebraskan tiger. Its scientific name is Panthera huscaris. Oh, for the love of Mike, whoever Mike might be, there are no tigers in Nebraska. Oh, clearly, somebody hasn't been to the Omaha Zoo lately. Ah, whatever. You know what? It's a good thing that tiger's locked up there in Igor's cage because, you know what, kids? Tigers in captivity have been known to bite when you put your hand inside their cage. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, guys. How's your nature show going? Too bad. Ah, is that a tiger? Oh my god, it's a Nebraska tiger. It's so cute. I want to pet it. I want to pet it. Can I pet it? Ah! No, no, stop. Wait, Nurse Carrie, don't, don't, ah, ow, don't do it. Ow, ah, ow, what is he ah, doing? Ah, what are you doing to my arm? See, this is what happens when you're an idiot and you stick your hand in a tiger's cage. Ah, ah, look what I got. I got a diamond ring. Ah! Oh, so beautiful. What, what kind of nonsense is this jewelry? Everyone knows that Nebraska tigers held in captivity in the Omaha Zoo are so grateful for their nice homes that when you stick your hand in their cages and they show their appreciation by giving you beautiful and expensive jewelry and watches. Oh wow, look at the watch Mr. Tiger gave you Marlon, it's beautiful. And made with Nebraska Tiger Swiss accuracy. You know what, boys and girls? This show is getting stupider by the second, and I think we've hit all new record here. Now, tell me there, uh, Jungle Betty, where in the heck is this tiger getting all this expensive jewelry and watches and stuff? Everyone knows that Nebraska tigers have a jewelry gland. Uh, it's located underneath their tongues, and they only produce when they're happy and content. Say, Doc, why don't you just put your hand in and see what you get? Uh, what? Huh. Yeah, dog. Maybe you'll get one of those snazzy gold ID bracelets with your name on it. You can give it to the girlfriend you'll never get, so uh, yes. she can remember your name whenever she looks at it. Uh, actually, a guy like Doc would probably be better off with some gold cufflinks for all those hospital benefits he does. <laughs> or, or a gold skull ring with fiery gem ruby eyes. Oh boy, a gold skull ring with fiery red ruby gemstone eyes. Now, th now you're talking, you know. So hey, 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 Mr. Tiger, uh, I'm gonna put my hand in your cage and you can just lay the goods on me. And, and ow, ah, ow, ah, what are you doing? Ow, hey, ah, that didn't feel good. Ah, ah, ah ow. Oh, wow, that was really painful, but, you know, I know it's going to be worth it, kids, so let's see what Mr. Tiger gave me, and, ah, uh, ow, ow, hey, 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 he didn't give me any jewelry, he bit one of my fingers off, you lousy bum, this is terrible, this is the hand I used to scratch my itchy butt with. Well, kids, it's time for us to go, but you can continue watching tonight's Nature Show. And always remember, kids, nature is dirty, icky, and smelly. So just watch it here with us on TV. Hey, hey Igor, uh, uh, I'm getting an, an itch on my butt. Do you think you could be a, a pal and, and help a fellow out? <sighs> well, boys and girls, that's all the time we've got for you tonight. And I sure hope that you had a lot of fun. So. Here's Doc Sanguinary and the Creature Feature cast and crew wishing you a very good evening, and I hope you have a nightmare with the, the monster or animal of nature of your choice tonight. So we'll see you all here again next week for another exciting nature episode of Creature, Creature Feature. Bye-bye.